Hello, Leo. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your mini reading focused on the last week of February from February 22nd all the way through Sunday, February 28th. General, as always, guys, it's not going to resonate with every single person. Please do take from this what makes sense for you and release the rest. And if you're interested in any of the decks featured here today, which happens to be all of my self-created ones, then I'll go ahead and provide the deck shop link down below. All right, guys. So let's begin. Let's start the conversation between the masculine and the feminine. Of course, cross watchers are absolutely welcome. These are the decks that we're going to be using. The Thinking Man Oracle Volume 1, and then we'll grab a card from the Woman's Intuition Oracle, followed by the He Said, She Said Oracle deck. All right, Leo. So let's begin. Let's see where your person is at here. Starting things off with the Divine Masculine. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo. Advice for the last week of February. I'm guided to this one. I hope you know how much you mean to me. So this is a message, my feminines, from your masculine. Really hoping that you know how much you mean to them. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe this is something that you really needed to hear right now. All right, so let's grab a message on behalf of the feminine from the woman's intuition oracle here. I'm guided to this one. Leather or lace, choose. So this is one of those cards where it's kind of got that good girl, bad girl type energy, you know? So there's a part of you perhaps that feels more badass at times and other times, not so much, you know, and depending on what kind of mood that you are in when you are thinking of your masculine or when you guys are together, there are different sides to you, okay? So you really want your masculine perhaps to choose which version of you that you would like for them to see. All right, so let's add another card. So this deck it does contain two messages per card one for the masculine and one for the feminine so let's grab one he said i've wanted to call and reach out so many times but i didn't want to come on too strong or bother you she said i've waited hoping you'd call so many times i stared at my phone for a call that never came so we have two people here wanting communication so badly, but nobody actually taking that step to make it happen. So we've got a masculine here saying, I hope you know how much you mean to me, but you know, my feminines, I don't think you're a mind reader here. So unless your masculine has actually said these things to you, you wouldn't know how much you mean to them. And clearly this masculine explaining here i've wanted to call and reach out so many times but i didn't want to come on too strong or bother you and by doing that it created no communication and so maybe my feminines it has left you really wondering it's like are they even into me like what the hell you know <laughs> so let's see what else you might actually get that phone call this week we'll see all right so adding to that let's grab a card or some insight from my heart and soul love oracle angels and spirit guides please for leo for the advice for the last week of february so if nobody speaks up then a lot of these words are left unsaid we do have lost and found you have always been my guiding light when I am worried, sad, overwhelmed, uncertain, scared, anxious, depressed, confused. You are always there to help me find my way through this maze called life. I'd be lost without you and I'm forever grateful that my path led me to you. So, whoever it is that you're thinking about, Leo, for this reading, whether masculine or feminine, they're very grateful to have connected with you in this lifetime and maybe when you guys met they were feeling very lost no sense of direction in their life and you kind of just helped with that 
you helped to calm them and to just help them to find their way. And part of finding their way is finding you. What else, please, for Leo? We have the truth. I may look as though I'm over you, that life has moved on and I'm over it, going about my day-to-day -day and being fine with how things ended between us. Nothing could be further from the truth. The truth is I'm barely functioning. I need you. I miss you. I love you. I pray someday I can tell you face to face. So this is an indication of distance and separation for some of you guys and that ultimately there's not a whole lot of communication going on here. And going back to this lost and found message where they're very grateful that you guys have connected in this lifetime. Look at the next card. We've got gratitude. A message to thank the universe that it did good bringing us together in this lifetime. So maybe you're both really thankful and grateful that you at least connected. But we do have some obstacles here that you have to face and deal with in order to interact with one another and come back together. We do have forever and always. And this card does say, no matter how you look at it, sideways, upside down, backwards, forwards, and everywhere in between, this is how I want us to be forever, always together. And lastly, faith. Life has a way of bringing us to our knees when we lose faith in a situation, in someone, in ourselves. The most heartfelt prayers are born from those moments of heartache, desperation, and hope. Okay, so I feel because of the lack of communication possibly between you and your person, Leo, that maybe you're losing faith, that you guys can work this out. Maybe they are also losing faith. But the desire to come together and have forever and have it be lasting is still here. And I have a feeling here, my feminines, you're really wanting your masculine to reach out. But I'm also getting that maybe you're losing patience and that you're not going to wait forever. So if this masculine wants to talk to you, they're going to have to get past their apprehensions and their fears and just do it already. Okay, so let's add to this with some additional insight from my silhouettes deck here, Leo. Angels and spirit guides, please. For Leo, for this mini reading. What else do you need to know here for the week? A higher power. Trusting that what's meant for me will come to me. To deliver me from the impossible to the possible. To find the light in my darkness. To find courage through my fears. Okay? And I really do feel that with this message right next to faith, for those who have turned to prayer, this could certainly help get you through. And just ultimately trusting that what's meant for you will come for you. We have drama. Don't start it. Don't allow it. Don't add to it. So whatever the drama is or was, that needs to be addressed. That needs to be something that you guys are able to overcome and talk about and walk through it. Whatever this drama is, you know, maybe that's why you guys are not communicating right now. And why we have a masculine here who might be a little bit apprehensive to reach out. Maybe they did come on too strong before and they don't want to do that again. We have picture perfect. Your most attractive asset is the way your heart makes me smile from the inside out. Somebody could also be a photographer or just love to take selfies, love taking pictures. You guys might even have a picture together. We've got guidance. Sometimes the path is unclear and sometimes it shines so bright that you can no longer ignore it, intuitively knowing that's the way you're meant to go. And that's why we've got faith here, trusting in this higher power to put you onto the right path that you are being led to. 
we do have obstacles and this card says we're bound to run into people things and circumstances that will get in the way and create challenges for us as long as we tackle it together we can handle anything and that's the key is to be able to work on this together because if just one person is putting in the effort and the other one isn't doing anything, that definitely creates an out-of-balance energy between the two of you. And then we do have springtime represented here. Love blooms in the spring, March, April, May. So for some of you, maybe your person is a Pisces, Aries, Taurus, or Gemini. So give it possibly until next month for things to either work out for you guys to start talking again, to at least interact face to face. So March, April, May is a time frame that's coming through here for some of you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and add to this and grab some tarot messages here, Leo, and see what else is something you need to focus on for next week. So I'm grabbing some insight from my tarot teacher deck. For this mini reading. Angels and spirit guides please for Leo. We've got the page of wands. Okay wands is your own fire energy Leo. So you've got some good news on the way. Okay this can represent letters, a phone call, you know or somebody that actually stops by to see you. So I feel it more so for my feminines waiting to hear from the masculine it could be this last week of february that you actually get a phone call or a text or an email some form of communication from your masculine look at this you've got the ten of cups so for those who are in separation there is a potential for a reunion a homecoming here if for those of you who live together maybe your masculine or somebody moved out it could be the feminine too you guys have the potential to come back together. Someone's coming back home. This is fulfillment, focusing on a dream that can still manifest and come true. This represents the divine love between the two of you. A harmonious partnership. This could be your soulmate here in this lifetime, Leo. Wow. We've got the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is somebody who's very action-oriented. So going back to the masculine message, I've wanted to call and reach out so many times, but I didn't want to come on too strong or bother you. So they're not going to be in that energy for forever. Eventually, they will take action to reach out to you, my feminines. And look at this. You've got the fool's energy right there. So they're going to take that leap of faith and welcome in a new beginning. Bring in that new beginning for the two of you. Just give it a, give it a minute until they can get to the point where they're comfortable reaching out. But I feel it can certainly happen possibly during the springtime. Okay, so we do have that time frame, but I wanted to go ahead and grab some additional time frames for the collective here. This is my time traveler oracle. So I get asked a lot, you know, when is something going to happen? When will they reach out to me? When will we get back together, etc, etc. So it's important to note that time frames are just, it's difficult to pinpoint them because it's constantly changing. It is fluid. Time is fluid. And everybody's got their own free will. Okay, so take these with a grain of salt. It's not a guaranteed time frame here. But we'll take a look and see when something might potentially happen. So if you have a when-related question, now is the time to ask. I'll go ahead and grab three cards from here. And take whichever time frame you feel most guided towards, okay? Time frames for Leo. Look at that. Next week. So something as quickly as next week for some of you. That's fast. We also have the month of July represented for some of you guys. Okay, now this will be for some, not for everybody. It does say that time has passed. So it could be that either the masculine or the feminine, it could go for either of you, 
where the opportunity has been missed to reach out, to communicate, especially if either yourself, Leo, or maybe your person, if they've already moved on to another connection, the time has passed in order to do anything about it. Okay, so that's for some of you guys. Bottom of the deck, we have two months, which is, again, not that long, really. That'll come before you know it. So these are the time frames in addition to the springtime. Again, March, April, May. That's when things might start moving to help you guys overcome the obstacles and challenges in your relationship. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap it up here, Leo, with a song from my Heart Songs deck. If you're not familiar with the song, see if you resonate with the lyrics. All right. What's the song? The song for the last week of February for Leo. We do have Consequences, okay, by Camila Cabello. Loving you was sunshine, safe and sound, a steady place to let down my defenses. But loving you had consequences, okay? So that might actually make sense for some of you guys feeling those consequences. And then the bottom of the deck, which I was just guided towards, if I could reach you and the group's name, believe it or not, is the fifth dimension. This is one of those old school songs that my dad used to listen to all the time and I grew up with it. So it was just one of those songs that I was gravitated towards. This is the lyric. If I knew the magic it would take to love you good enough on the outside and make you feel it on the inside, maybe I could make you stay. So somebody has detached. Somebody has left. It could have been you. Leo, it could have been my feminines here because maybe you felt like you were waiting way too long for your masculine to reach out and to just get the conversation going. And maybe you didn't even know that you actually meant so much to them. So they're going to have to do whatever it takes if they want to win you back to be able to have the conversation started that might ultimately be what can be very healing for this partnership. Because going back to the feminine message, I've waited, hoping you'd call so many times. I stared at my phone for a call that never came. And you're not meant to just sit by your phone waiting for a phone call from your masculine. So I have a feeling here you might have already detached and until your masculine actually takes action to come towards you, for some of you guys, you might have gone in a whole different direction. If they want you back, they're going to have to do something about it and quickly. Okay, so that's what's coming through here, Leo, for the last week of February, whatever part of it made sense for you. I hope it helps you out and gives you guidance for the upcoming days. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that info is below. And that's it for now. I'll see you next time.